Li Zhichang and his team are ordinary assembly workers at the Xinyang Liming Aircraft Engine Group Corporation in northeast China's Liaoning province. Their job is to put together aircraft engines that send fighter jets roaring into the sky. An engine to a plane is like a heart to a human, so we need to make sure every engine is strong enough. This is where Li Zhichang works, but it's also the place where China's first aircraft engine was born. Every aircraft engine assembled here can bear a temperature of over 1500 degrees Celsius, high enough to melt steel. In addition, the engines can at present only be assembled by Li and his team. To tell the truth, the time when I first stepped into the workshop, I was scared. The aircraft engine is too complicated that I even doubted if I was capable of making all parts in it right. But look, 30 years have passed and I have assembled hundreds of them. This is the assembly guide, which used to be consulted every day. But for Li Zhichang, there's no need to thumb through the book, as all procedures have long been learned by heart. Assembling an aircraft engine is fine work and is similar to putting together the core of a mechanical watch. Moreover, the assembly work currently can only be done manually. During the process of assembly, tightening a screw is the easiest, but to tighten it perfectly, not to loose or not to tight, is not as easy. There is no room for error. Nowadays, most of China's domestic fighter jets are equipped with aircraft engines assembled by Li and his team. Those fighter jets have not only had flown throughout raging storms, but also over Tiananmen Square during military parades. Before Li's father passed away, he too worked for years in the country's aviation industry. Deeply influenced by his father's passion for aviation, Li Zhichang's son has now also chosen the same path. I am now working as the tester for the company. After my father has finished assembly, I will test whether he's doing a good job. When I was little, I had to do almost everything by myself because my father was too busy. And our neighbors always blame my father for not taking care of me. But I feel very proud of my father. For Li Zhichang, his devotion to the country's aviation industry is the pride of his family. Li says although his father is gone, he believes he would be proud of him too if he saw China's fighter jets flying through the sky. Wu Hajun, CCTV.